Okay, something big is going on with Trump administration, with the government and Tesla, and we got to talk about it because this is something that I didn't think they would do this early. Like, this is a sheesh flipping moment. And by the way, guys, yes, I am in Toronto. You guys can see the setup is different. This is going to be the setup until I'm here, but we got to talk about this is absolutely insane. Like, I didn't, again, I didn't think we're going to get here this quick or the government was thinking to take this step right now. Maybe in two or three years time, yes, but right now, that's crazy. Smash the like button, hit subscribe if you guys haven't already and let's go. So this is regarding Optimus. You guys already know, I'm all in Tesla for robo taxis, but this Optimus thing is getting crazy. And for the past 24 hours, we've seen some interesting Optimus things being dropped. We're gonna go over that as well. So this article, from Yahoo Finance, and of course, this is from investing.com and other sources as well, says that Tesla stock rises after the Trump administration signals robotics push. Like, that's insane. Like, what? Robotics push? Now? This is crazy. The article says that Tesla stock rose 1% Wednesday. It didn't go up 1%. It went up 4% actually. So, you know quadruple that. Following reports, the Trump administration is planning to accelerate development of the robotics industry, potentially benefiting companies in the automation sector. So hold on a second. We have the Trump administration trying to figure out, trying to make regulation for self-driving cars, you know, cars without pedals and sitting wheels and robo taxis for next year. And now we have robotics. Like, this is in flipping insane. According to a political report, Commerce Secretary Howard Lutnuck has been meeting with robotics industry CEOs and is all in on accelerating the sector's growth. The administration is considering issuing an executive order on robotics next year. Sources familiar with the discussion told, discussions told Politico. Whoa. So again, again, automation, robot taxis next year and robotics next year. Bro, this is looking tight. This is looking flipping tight. And 2026 seems to be an insane year for a company that does both robotics and autonomous driving. That's crazy. We're going to skip a little bit here with some, you know, with, with the report article here and go to the more inter interesting part. The Commerce Department confirmed its commitment to the sector, stating we are committed to robotics and advanced manufacturing because they are central to bringing critical production back to the United States. This robotics initiative follows the administration's artificial intelligence acceleration plan released five months ago the Department of Transportation is reportedly preparing to announce a robotics working group possibly before year end. Now, that's quick if that happens, but a sheesh moment if that happens this year. Like, we only got, what, like three, four weeks until this year is done? Wow. The push has also gained traction in Congress, where Republicans attempted to include an amendment in the National Defense Authorization Act that would have created a National Robotics Commission. While that amendment was included in the final bill, other legislative efforts are reportedly underway. So, man, this is why this, this Trump administration is very bullish for Tesla, right? And this is why I've been saying for a, over a year now that a Trump administration would be, would be a much better environment than a Kamala administration. Of course, who knows, maybe Kamala would have done the same thing. Maybe, maybe. But we do know from the get-go that Trump and Elon would get along and, of course bring the things back to the United States and this is part of the whole plan and we know this is why that Tesla will benefit greatly. The main thing is, is that we knew that there will be a lot of deregulation happening and it looks like this is the case with that. And of course, the stock was up 4% today based on this news and of course, interest rates, interest rates going down this month is also a news why the stock went up almost at 450 bucks per share, which is insane. But that's not where it stops there, man. That's not where it absolutely stops. We have Yilun Chen, which used to work at Apple and at CMU Robotics and knows a thing or two about robotics and now he just joined Tesla's Optimus program and he has some very interesting things to say about it. Some background here is that he spent four years at Apple at an ML engineering and robotics research scientist. So this guy again knows a thing or two about this stuff. He says that I was totally blown away by the scale and sophistication of the Optimus lab and deep dedication of people when I got to visit the office. My first week was already so much fun and exciting. Flat team structure, spontaneous deep technical discussions, 
direct communications across levels, hardcore building, and crazy ideas with super fast iterations. You can feel the energy to change the world here. I really like it so far. I mean, this is insane, right? This guy, he's been working at Apple for years and some other places, and he says he's never seen and blown away by the things that Tesla's doing with Optimus. Like, this should be one signal that we all shouldn't really ignore, right? We shouldn't ignore this signal. And Optimus, of course, I posted on my channel yesterday or the day before, depending when you guys watch this video, about the Optimus, the running Optimus. Like, this is way too human realistic and this thing can now catch up to me if I run out of steam right because I don't think this thing gets tired when it runs I'm just, unless it runs out of battery right but you know we have Nick Cruz here who did a very good job by comparing May 2023 to literally December 2025 look at the difference the thing could barely walk and now the thing can run like a flipping human being like that is insane and then Tesla Optimus reposts this saying that it only took two and a half years for this what do you think the next two and a half years is going to look like? Like, this is insane, guys. Like, this Optimus thing, I can't comprehend this Optimus thing. But this is insane. This is crazy. Yeah, it's mind-boggling. Like, I mean, I've been in Toronto. You guys seen the videos. I've I've been here in Toronto. I've been using the FSD. And I have 99% of the time, 99.69% of the time, I'll say that. I have not been driving. It's the, I've been, I've been driven around. And that's my whole thesis on Tesla. Then we have this thing coming up. It's crazy. It's crazy. Then we have Rick Burton here says that you have to hand it to Elon and it shows the it shows the hand of Optimus. Now, I don't think this is the final version. Maybe it is because wearing gloves. I don't know. But I, I, I really doubt that. But look how smooth that is, man. Oh, my God. It looks like a human hand. It looks like a human hand. Like that is insane. That is absolutely in flip insane. Yeah, pointing and doing all that crazy stuff. Like, yeah, this is crazy. I mean, we are getting close to this Optimus stuff, guys. And I don't know. This thing's going really quick. I mean, there's no more excuses why Elon should not be working double, triple time, quadruple time on this because he got his comp plan, right? So that is an insane flippant moment. But something big is going on at Tesla. Oh my God, this mic almost fell. And you guys witnessed that. I'm not going to edit that part out because screw it. But something big is going on at Tesla. And it looks like the administration is really helping to accelerate that which is a sheesh flipping moment what else can i say what else can i flip and say right in the meantime we have tesla's nvidia moment maybe i should have titled it tesla's next tesla moment is coming but check this video out right here on when that's gonna be and when i think because i think it's sooner than you think and i'm going crazy with podcasts i did it with cern phil and now there's gonna be some other people coming on as well so if you're a channel member You'll get access to it first and you guys can become a channel member here and other awesome things are coming. Subscribe guys and I shall see you guys in the next flipping video. Let's go!